Iran has confirmed plans to purchase Su-35 fighter jets from Russia to modernize its aging air force. The planned procurement would mark one of isolated Tehran's most significant defense purchases since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Iranian Air Force Commander Brigadier General Hamid Behedi announced that purchasing Su-35 fighters is on the agenda of the Air Force, though the final decision rests with the Army and Army General Staff Headquarters, Tehran Times reported this week. Iran has announced a 64 new aircraft requirement, of which 24 were supposed to come from Egypt, but remain undelivered due to US pressure, according to Iran International. The planned Su-35 purchase comes soon after Iran supplied combat drones to Russia to replace combat losses and fill in gaps in Moscow's drone capabilities that have been exposed in Ukraine war. Asia Times has reported that, although Russia has multiple drone projects, its immature drone industry, limited availability of advanced technologies and lack of high-end operational models compared to low-end ones have hampered its progress. The potential sale may be an act of reciprocity and could deepen the strategic partnership between the two sides, both of which face Western sanctions and growing international isolation. According to United Aircraft Corporation UAC, Russia's state-owned aerospace consortium, the Su-35 is a thoroughly modernized variant of the Su-27 air superiority fighter. It classifies the Su-35 as a 4-plus-plus generation fighter that combines fifth-generation technologies on a fourth-generation airframe. UAC notes that the Su-35 is an air superiority fighter designed for beyond visual range BVR, and within visual range WVR, air combat. It also has long-range air-to-surface strike capability against ground and naval targets. UAC also mentions that the Su-35 has the qualities of a modern fighter, combining super maneuverability, improved active and passive sensors, high supersonic speed, long range, a wide range of armaments, current electronic warfare capabilities, reduced radar signature and increased survivability. If Iran's purchase goes through, which is still in question, the Su-35s may prove to be the most crucial modernization in decades for its aging air force, which now relies on pre-1979 Western combat aircraft and older Chinese and Russian models. Iran's indigenous aerospace program, meanwhile, has met with mixed results. Its most capable fighter is the F-14 Tomcat, which it first acquired in 1976 to intercept Soviet MiG-25R Foxbat reconnaissance flights over Iran. The F-14's superior flight characteristics, powerful AUG-9 radar and AIM-54 Phoenix BVR missiles gave it much longer engagement ranges and better maneuverability than the F-15 Eagle at the time, notes former Iranian Air Force pilots cited by the Aviation Geek Club. Iran acquired 79 F-14s before the 1979 Iranian Revolution, and the aircraft proved their worth during the 1980-1988 Iran-Iraq War. Although the Iran-Iraq War and sanctions have taken a toll on Iran's F-14 fleet, defense analyst David Axe notes in the national interest that Iran's 40 or so surviving F-14 Tomcats are still among the best combat aircraft in the Middle East. He also notes that in the absence of U.S. spare parts, maintenance and technical assistance, Iran has nonetheless upgraded its F-14 fleet with new radars, radios and navigation systems, while adding compatibility to Russian-made R-73 BVR missiles, U.S.-made Hawk surface-to-air missiles, and, through reverse engineering, America's AIM-54 Phoenix radar-guided, long-range air-to-air missile is the Faker 90.
but despite these upgrades, Iran's combat aircraft are old, with some airframes more than 40 years old. Paladin notes in Forbes that these airframes age is a primary cause of accidents in the Iranian Air Force. He also notes that the last time Iran acquired modern combat aircraft was in the 1990s, when it received MiG-29A fulcrum fighters from Russia. Before that, Iran acquired Chinese F-7s during the Iran-Iraq War and copies of the Soviet MiG-21. During the 1991 Gulf War Iran confiscated Iraq's MiG-29s and French-made Mirage F-1s when their pilots sought asylum to avoid capture or being killed by coalition forces. However, Axe notes Iranian pilots are reportedly dissatisfied with Chinese combat aircraft, noting that back in 1997 and 1998 Iran evaluated China's F-8 fighter and rejected it. He said that even without spares and maintenance, the F-14s were still superior to the newer Chinese-made F-8s, with it and noting Iran's similar sentiments against Iran's MiG-29 as, after testing them against its F-14s.